Hi everybody, I hope you are all doing well. In today the topic I want to speak about thrift shopping and how is the correct way of finding good stuff there, finding unworn brand new things and where is the best places to shop so I really hope that you enjoy uh, today's video. Okay guys, so the very first thing that you need to know when you go to a thrift store is actually find a location. For example, um, I live in a city uh, where there are a few very big chains of thrift stores or secondhand shops and uh, there are some smaller ones like uh, for owners, family oriented and so it depends what you're looking for, there is always a good catch and a good find I've been buying uh, thrift store um, clothes or secondhand clothing for probably long years now and I really learned you know how to find the best things and the best deals. So once you know what you want and what you're out of, for example, pants, shirts, clothes, you know, such as jeans, um, t-shirts, tank tops, um, you need to Google or you need to find a location and then to find out the best place for you. For certain shops, for example, I'm not happy when I go there because I never can find anything. But then there are these other stores where they're full of things and I can spend hours there. Uh, usually when you do thrift shopping, I would recommend you to uh, have just a day for that because it's a lot of searching and it takes a lot of your time and if you're a worker you will uh, you know realize that you don't have the whole day whenever you have to cook clean and do everything else that a woman must do yes if you're a man and you don't do these things you'll have plenty more time to shop around but um, let's say you chose the location and you're happy with it now usually they uh, bring new stuff every single day in the shops. Sometimes they do lower prices, sometimes they do higher prices. There are shops that they organize uh, everything in colors such as white, pink, yellows, blues, floral, dots, everything that you can think of. I really love this part of shops that they have everything organized because for example I'm searching floral bands. I want to find floral pants and there is a store I'm walking in and there is a whole aisle of just floral pants, the first sizes. Now let's say uh, we watch for the trend for a season. So right now the trend in the fashion is everything floral, everything that has pastel, bright colors such as pink, orange flamingos, uh, pastel purples, yellows, greens. You get the idea, right? So. Let's say we have this tight budget and we want to find something that is not that used. One thing that you need to know when you go to a thrift store is that you will find very used clothes but then you will find a lot of new clothes if you dig good enough. What I'm meaning by this? I mean, for example, I went one day and I just, you know, searched for a um, tank top uh, or a cardigan like, uh, like this. And uh, actually, this is Ziggy, um, it's a brand from Copenhagen. I never heard of it in my life, but as you can see, this is the way I bought it with its tag. And it's a brand new thing, and uh, it's never been worn. How could I say this? It's because here under the armpit, whenever something is worn, first, sometimes it could smell, second, it could stain. Yeah, you can say it's a darker color, you wouldn't be able to say if it's tiny. But um, there's pretty many, you know, cotton little balls that if this been garment being used, um, you would know that. So this particular catch is really good. Another thing that you could recognize them on if they don't have the actual paper tag is by finding you know the side tags and as you could see these are never worn like um, they haven't been even washed probably because i don't see any uh, damages on the edges of them as well and uh, usually a close pick by itself when you look at it so um, i 
think this is really a good catch when you start searching for something like that. Now sometimes there are clothes in the store that are being washed or treated with certain um, uh, detergents or chemicals. This is because uh, some clothes have this stain and usually this is the reason why they go to secondhand stores. For example, this cardigan, I bought this uh, from a thrift store uh, that was selling it and it's a uh, H&M and as you can see the buttons are still on on this one um, and I look at it, it hasn't been worn actually at all um, it had everything that indicates the fact that it's brand new besides the thing that it had on one of the hands so I took a detergent and I've been washing it for a few times now uh, the stain is very small but I'm planning to wear it maybe with another suit washing everything will go away another really important thing uh, when you buy clothes for women is to check the neck area as well sometimes they have a lot of stains on them if they're used uh, this is a good indicator if it's never been used um, a lot of the times the tag will stay really unused uh, you will have all the tags uh, sealed on it and also um, besides they wouldn't be worn, they wouldn't stay baggy, such as in the case with American Eagle. And all of those things that I'm showing you are actually really cheap. This one I bought for $2. I was really happy with it. The H&M I bought for like $2.50. So this is a really good catch. Um, now when it comes to pants, I want to speak a bit more. And these are pants that I bought from a second hand store. It's a British second hand store. This brand is named Papaya and I'm sure that a lot of you that are living in the United Kingdom are very familiar with this brand. Now, one thing that you want to search for when it comes to pants, these are the pockets. If the pockets are worn, on the sides of the pocket you will find a lot of uh, you know little cotton balls as well you will find some scratches uh, same thing will happen you know in the bottom part if you flip them backwards if these pens are being used you will see a lot of um, you know where everything is being stood together you will see a bigger holes you know um, pretty much it will show you that the garments being used a lot Another good indicator to show that this is new <coughs> is to watch the side tags as well as the bottom part, like here, on the legs, in between the leg parts where you walk. Usually if this uh, is being used, there will be an indication that the garment is being used. I'm not saying that in uh, second hand or thrift stores you're not going to find anything like this because half of the things that you will find there are really junk. Um, not always, of course. They're really nice stuff that you could find there. But they're divided into few different categories. Now, when it comes to a category, there are usually a few different categories. One is called brand new and these are clothes that are never been worn before and by this indication um, here see how I have the buttons these are actually brand new and I bought these for three dollars and I'm really happy because they're probably much more expensive than that if you google them um, these clothes are really a cold pearl so pearl shopping this is a uh, thrift shopping from places that have been bankrupted from older fashion, for things that actually are few, you know, of a kind, maybe one, two in several stores, maybe a size that fits nobody, maybe nobody likes it. So usually they send them to a um, places where people, you know, uh, sort them out and they sell them to these bigger shops and that's how they come to us pretty much. Um, there is another type of uh, second hand and this is called uh, first quality and first quality means that 
For example, this shirt is the first quality. This has been worn maybe once or two times because there are not very many damages on it. Uh, on indication, you could see that uh, the tags are still alright. There are a little bit of, uh, you know, cotton balls that are hanging from the side. They might be a trace of broken, but not that big of broken stuff. Usually not very many spots. They're still really good quality and none of the buttons, if they have buttons, is missing. Then, of course, we have a second-hand quality of a second-hand, which is actually getting worse and it's not that good. Uh, it's considered more broken like, it has more stains in it, uh, some stuff that needs to be fixed, needs to be repaired. Usually if I buy things like this, I use them for quilting, I use them for different home decoration or for some other decorations such as, um, you know, making colors or other stuff uh, for myself or for my friends.